Taken yet standing firm. This is Radio Cayman in the Cayman Islands. And now. The Business Buzz, an insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. This is where we address the business, the business topics, topics that matter. Business Here's your host, Sabrina Turner. Good morning, Cayman, and welcome to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz right here on Radio Cayman. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner, and the Business Buzz is proudly sponsored by Green Turtle Dock KY and Cayman Medical Supplies, brought to you every Tuesday and Thursday from 7.30 until 9 a.m. It is my pleasure this morning to put the spotlight on our topic, developing talent in young people right here in the Cayman Islands. And we talk about the importance of developing our young people right here to foster opportunities for them to excel, be it in a career in singing or in music production. To tell us all about this, I am pleased to have in studio X Crew, uh, one of the members, and we hope to be joined by the other, Mr. JJ the Great, uh, X Crew member, Mr. Jamo, who's also youth coordinator from Youth Services Unit, and uh, joined by uh, uh, joined by Amber McLaughlin, aka Bambi, whose new song has been tearing up the airways. Good morning, and it's a pleasure to have you yeah, both good join morning, us. Ms. Serena. Bambi, just before, and I, I don't know, um, I'm quite sure some point during this interview, uh, Susan will, will drop a little snippet so people may understand or, or get a taste of, of, of listening air of your talent. Both of you are very talented. The first time I saw you all perform was at uh, their last year's Pirates Week, that talent competition, and kudos to you guys. Uh, you're doing great things. But let's get into into the conversation and tell us the importance of Mr. Mr. Miles, maybe we can start off with you. Uh, the importance of providing young people with avenues to express their talents. You think there's a lot more that's lacking to do that? Well, uh, uh, let me answer the question about the importance part. Um, it is very important for um, young people to not only um, know their talent, but get an opportunity to live out their, ta- um, mm-hmm. their purpose. And that is hinged around the talent that God gives them. Um, I can't sing. I can barely talk, but Amber can sing really well, and and because of that, uh, it should be ways of which they can showcase this talent and this gift, and they, and to wrap their purpose around the gifts and talents that God has given them, mm-hmm. and that is what they would leave with the world. The world would be a better place once they're exposed and and they can share what God has given them. So. Um, JJ the Great asked me to come on board as a mentor for um, X Crew, um, the whole entertainment group and mm-hmm. artists. And I was saying that one of the things you have to do is you have to prepare yourself for opportunities. Correct. And when the opportunities meet preparation, then that's a recipe for mm-hmm. success. So um, one of the things that I do is help the artists be prepared for opportunities. And when they do come, like Pirates Week, they were ready. Okay. Now, when young people are exposed and children alike to performing arts, what can it? What can we do for their intellectual and social development? What what areas you feel that we can hound in on to just assist them? Because we all need that push. Well, one of the things that young people grapple with is self worth, mm-hmm. and when you can, when they can start to value themselves because they can see the talents that they have is valued adds value to the world, um, then they start to feel more purposeful. Mm -hmm. And they start to want to do more with their talent and want to do more for others. And and, uh, I've seen it over the years. I've worked with young people. And it continues to happen. God has created us to be social beings so we can share what we have with the world. Now, I'm sure you've seen young people mature talent-wise throughout the years. You're very, very involved with the youth, and kudos to you for, for keeping keeping at it. But can you tell us more about the growth you've seen within the performers over the years through various in- events? Well, one of the things I've been blessed with was to ride alongside a foundation called the New Self-Help Community Foundation. Mm-hmm. It, its um, CEO and founder is, is J.C. Connor who's a performer himself. Yes. Um, he performed before I was born, and he he finds a way of coaching young people and grooming talent and scouting as well. So 
by me working alongside him for a, a certain number of years, I kind of picked up the skill on sculpting for talent as well. Right. So now that skill set, I'm trying to find talent, hone talent, grow talent. Okay. And um, and I want to say a special thank you to, to JC for not only providing an annual showcase for young young mm-hmm. people, but for being there in developing young people as he finds them. Mm-hmm. Um, he goes into the school and he does a lot of rehearsals and he's doing some poetry stuff and dance stuff and and the performing arts spawns creativity and that's right. the one part that cannot be duplicated. Correct. That's the God complex. Ms. Amber McLaughlin, aka Bambi, can you share with us some details on X Crew Entertainment and pretty much how you got involved? Well, I'm basically got involved between well, from Mr. Jamu. Um, he called me up to see if I could do the song mm-hmm. to sing it and then I sang a song for him and then afterwards we met up and I got learned the song then afterwards I just sang it how I feel I should sing it and it was really fun do you remember what song that was because that's the first thing that that's something that will resonate with you for the rest of your life mm. <laughs> I can't remember now um well when I got the lyrics for the song that's the one I sang okay how many hours a week do you practice your craft, and how do you balance, let's say, school schoolwork? How do you balance schoolwork and practice? Well, I just sing. That's all I do. Um, it doesn't really affect me that much, because mm-hmm. even when I'm at school, I sing. When I'm home, I sing. Doing chores, I sing. It's not really balancing it that much. It's just something that I really like to do. It's a part of you. Yeah. It's all incorporated. Right. <laughs> Have you found where it has ever affected your schoolwork at all? Not really. No. It actually helps me focus. It's more comforting. Now, your song, um, the song that's out, it's collabed with you and J.J. the Great, called Island in the Sun. Tell us a bit about that. Who wrote it? Uh, that, that was compiled by... Peter Fudd Campbell and JJ. Mm-hmm. And JJ did most of the lyrics and it was fine tuned. Uh, as we were going through the song, um, they were saying, like, okay, we need to add a little bit more of um, vintage came on in it. Correct. And so the, the parts of the lyrics, you'll hear them talking about Waddle and Dog, and you'll hear them talking about um, corn and the cob, and it's these things that are traditional, the King mm-hmm. And the cat boat as well. Yes, and about turtling and all this other stuff. I like. <laughs> That that is awesome, and I mean, it, it is a way of showcasing came on and and holding um, your own culture right. in high regard. And uh, I think it's very important for young people mm-hmm. to know their social cultural identity, correct, and to express that in ways that people can appreciate. And if you don't get it the first time, a song is a wonderful way for you to get it inculcated because mm-hmm. if you play it over and over and over and then start to get into these like, so that's we used to design our own cat boats. It's something that's traditional. It's something that is uniquely Caymanian. And if we could do that so we could survive, that was our bus, our truck, yeah. everything back in the day. And if we could find ways then, why Caymanians can't find ways now? And if, if we could find a way of creating solid, Stormproof walls that stood up even through Ivan. They still got wall and the buildings that are standing. Um, why we can't keep on innovating? And I, and I think it is is a great way of of showcasing that we are a resilient bunch and that we ought to be very proud of of our traditions and and the way we were and that we we can be. Now you are youth coordinator with. Youth Services Unit, what continues to motivate and inspire you, Jamal? We know so well, much of these young people look up to you, and you are that drive. You are that push for a number of them. What motivates you most? Well, I asked God for to show me what my purpose was, and my purpose is to add value to people, not only um, young people, but any person. Mm-hmm. But he has placed me in a position where I can influence future generations. Mm-hmm. And I want to thank God for it. And 
I, I didn't know I was being prepared for this role, mm-hmm. but all along I've been coaching at Special Olympics and coaching at different areas and, and giving them my time, and I didn't know this is where it, this would, is where it would lead. Mm-hmm. But when you ask God to guide your steps and to guard your heart and to um, show me your purpose, uh, it'll take you some places that might be scarier <laughs> at times. Like I got involved with, I'm, I'm the president of Motocross. Uh-huh. How did that come about? I I didn't ride a motorcycle (laughs) in my life. I sat on one. Right. But, um, no, it was was an issue that came up, and we researched it at the unit Uh because it was was an issue with dirt bikes on the road and stuff. So I said, well, let's let's find out what's at the heart of all this. And the young people just want a way to express themselves. Correct. And to how, you know, they, they like the adrenaline rush, but... We can do it safer if we have a place right. for it. So that is what's what coming out of it. We're looking on developing a park where the young people can come and do all the stunts they want, and it doesn't put me or you at risk exactly. driving to force us to buy ourselves a cup of coffee. Exactly. And that kind of thing. You're here in Tune to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz. In this segment, we talk about the importance of developing tal- talent in our young people in the Cayman Islands to foster opportunities for them to excel be it in career, singing, or in music production. I've been speaking with Youth Coordinator Mr. James Miles from the Youth Services Unit, and he's brought along with him one of the ex-crew artists, Miss Amber McLaughlin, a.k.a. Bambi. He's also ex-crew mentor. We'll take a short break. When we come back, we'll share with you a little snippet of that song, Island in the Sun. Oh, oh gosh. <sighs> Don't let the stress of taking care of loved ones get you down. Home care, now made easier with Cayman Medical Supplies. 100% Caymanian owned. Cayman Medical Supplies now stocks a wide range of home care supplies. Hospital beds, all types of wheelchairs, including beach access wheelchairs, lifts, commodes, shower chairs, walkers, Curad brand orthopedic supplies, free blood glucose monitors with the purchase of one pack of test strips, blue underpads, and a whole lot more. Need home care convenience? Drop by Cayman Medical Supplies at 93 Smith Road, Windward Center, or call 949-6211. Free delivery. The Cayman Islands boasts of a long, colorful, and rich history. In tribute to our roots, Radio Cayman, the voice of the Cayman Islands, is pleased to bring you the historical vignette series sponsored by Cayman National Bank. Visit Cayman National Bank today for all of your financial needs. The Cayman Islands, he hath founded it upon the seas. Swan A. Frederick, 1881-1965. Mr. Swan Frederick was a police constable for the district of Bodentown. He was a farmer and he also served as a mailman, delivering mail to Frank Sound on horseback. At one time, he worked in the gold fields of Nicaragua. He was an elder of the Presbyterian Church. He was kind and honest, always willing to share with those less fortunate than himself, and was well-respected and looked up to in the community. He was married to the former Naya Tatum, and after her death, he married her sister, Maudie. He fathered 15 children. Radio Cayman's Historical Facts Vignettes are proudly brought to you by Cayman National with branches on all three Cayman Islands. Visit Cayman National Bank today for all of your financial needs. I need a bank that is convenient for me. What do you mean? I need a bank that has easy-to-find locations and plenty ATMs when I need cash on the go. Oh, well, that's easy. You need to bank with Cayman National. They have seven customer service centers and 22, I mean 23 ATM locations. The newest one is at the East End Post Office, and I hear there's more to come. Well, well, sounds like I need to bank with Cayman National Bank, the convenient bank, because they seem to be everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Cayman National is everywhere. Surely, they are Cayman's convenient bank. Cayman National Bank, we're here for you. You may have heard of them by now. GreenTurtle.ky a one-stop shop for your mobile needs, whether shopping for a new phone or topping up a loved one. It's time to hop aboard the Green Turtle Express. From 24-hour delivery in Grand Cayman to sending credit worldwide, GreenTurtle.ky is the future of mobile. Take a ride on the Green Turtle Express today. GreenTurtle.ky, they get there first.
blessings and praises to the Most High. Shout down blessings on my tree islands. I'm from the tree four five, yeah. Where the sun always shine, yeah. Where everybody on the grind, yeah. And the women and the women, ooh, ooh. they will blow your mind. They my three four dime. But hold up, let me tell you about our Cayman kind. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Yeah, we design our own cat boats, thatch ropes, catching turtles by the boat load. Silver thatch slippers, buck your toe. Oh no, three stars and a lion on our logo. Let me take you to a place. Yeah. Sunshine, like sing rays. Yeah. Let me take you for a weekend. Won't be you like leave. I'm talking about my islands in the sun. So, ho, wearing designer clothes, designer clothes. looking so dope. so dope. But when I take you to the blowholes, drip, drip like never before. Lovers wall run point, you gon' want more. Time to explore East and North Side, West Bay, GT, BT, LC, CB. Crystal Clear C, number one beach, and let me tell you what we eat. Mama stew, can't roast the corn on the cob. Yeah, we still solid like Waterland Dog. Let me take you to a place, yeah. Sunshine, I sing rays, yeah. Let me take you for a weekend. Won't feel I leave. I'm talking about my islands in the sun. When we party, fun can done. Even if you won't be drinking rum, grab someone and have some fun. Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. Let me hear you say, oh, oh. Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah. Let me hear you say, oh, oh. Let me hear you say yeah, yeah. Let me hear you say oh, oh. Let me hear you say yeah, yeah. Let me hear you say oh. Mm. Let me take you to a place, place, place. Well, let me tell you, developing talent and young people right here, that's our very own Amber McLaughlin, a.k.a. Bambi, one of the singers for the X Crew and a member of the X Crew artist. Amber, God-given talent. Good for you. Congratulations. Thanks. So, and there's great things coming your way. And I'm quite sure for the for the group, for JJ the Great, there's both of you are very talented young people. And we're so happy to have you joining us in studio this morning, along with Mr. James Miles, otherwise known as Jamo, mm-hmm. who has been asked to be a mentor for X Crew. Yes. Here, how, do you, how does this make you feel? Here you are in a studio, yeah. and we're so grateful as Radio K-Man to give them a, an opportunity. But well, how I want to thank f- you all for that as well. Yeah. Because um, one of the things is that we have to provide opportunities for young people. Exactly. And getting their message out and their purpose out and their talents out is, is the important part of them being on planet Earth. Mm-hmm. And it is... Um, uh, um, media houses and arenas like this right. that helps them get that out um, and share it with the world. Um, I I feel honored and humbled that people would choose me to mentor them. I'm like I I a little black boy from Boston. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I. But the thing is, I I've had a lot of people pour into me right. and mentor me, and and I I see the value that they put into me, and it's just fair enough for mm-hmm. me to share that with others. Now, Amber, with you doing your chores around the house, did you ever foresee yourself one day in a studio being interviewed and actually being allowed to sing live or even performing on a stage as you did over the the most recent Pirates Week festivities? Not really. The only place I actually performed was in church. Mm -hmm. And like for my friends at school, stuff like that, I never expected myself to be on a stage and actually singing in front of a crowd. Do your friends see you differently since you're actually been getting this exposure now? How do people relate to you? How do your friends relate to you now? No, really, they just, and they support me, and they just like, yo, I know you always had a good voice. Continue. There you go. Has anybody asked you for your autograph yet before you start charging for it? One person, my mom <laughs> and my friend. <laughs> Now, let's talk about establishing a brand and social media platforms, Mr. Miles. 
How important is it, is it for artists and singers in establishing an image and a brand, uh, you know, that fans and followers can relate to? How, how important you think that is? And uh, making I, I sure you this, strike it good. Yeah, I think this is where I came in as a mentor. Um, one of the things I admire about JJ is that he's concerned about his brand and concerned about the image that X Blue Entertainment and that, that he wants it to have. Um, he's the executive director of the X Crew. He's the owner of it. And he, he asked me to help guide um, the way X Crew Entertainment is to de- be developed. And I said, well, what, what you have to do is to guard your brand. And, and to do that, you got to put God first. Mm-hmm. If you put God first, you can't go wrong. So I told him, I'll be as involved with X Crew as long as God is put first. And I'll be there. Um, so how critical is it then in protecting their music copyright? Uh, would there be workshops needed for students as we see more young people emerge with these talents and wanting to protect their product? Yes. And and one of the things I want to do is to applaud the government for bringing copyright and mm-hmm. stuff here. Mm-hmm. And while the legislation was kind of um, uh, arduous and it was a process that a lot of people had to grapple with, I want to thank Wien Panton for doing that. Right. Um, and that now the people of the Cayman Islands, those who have intellectual property, can be protected, um, protect their intellectual property, and can benefit from this. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot, of, a lot of times, a lot of the the benefits are not shared with those who actually produce it. Right. And I, I think this is great, and we're in the process of copywriting this song right now. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it'd be beneficial for workshops to be done at association levels, like. Uh, I went to a recent um, election, an AGM of the Cayman Music and Entertainment Association, and there we had like, well over fifty members there at the at the election. Um, at the AGM, and the election was held, and um, President Notch Sean Eric Smith was returned as president. And I think that's one of the things that the whole executive wants to push for, and it's, it'll probably be something that they could reach out to. Um, the office for cooperating mm-hmm. to do a workshop with the association to ensure that all of the uh, members can can protect their work. Mm, you're on the same uh, page. Yeah, and and I think it's great for new up and coming artists who's generating new music, uh, and new content. Mm-hmm. A lot of the performers that are members of uh, a lot of the musicians that are members of the association now do a lot of covers, but they do still have original work that out there needs to be protected exactly now what can we do uh on a whole to support Cayman talent we the people even yourself amber as an artist performer singer um what do you feel needs to be done as a whole to support Cayman talent well uh, you want amber to answer me <laughs> Both uh, I, I think it is it is the support that starts at neighborhood level and family level. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the benefits that I have with working with young people is that I work with their families. Um, I, I make it a point mm-hmm. to work with their families. And right now, Amber's dad is in the studio yeah. next door. And mm-hmm. and that, is, that kind of level of support means is a great ingredient into a successful recipe. Okay. Amber, as an up-and-coming singer, do you feel that there are sufficient opportunities here in the Cayman Islands for young persons like yourself to reach your full potential as a singer? Um, or do you feel there, it's there's something lacking? There could be more opportunities, like for some of those shy singers, mm-hmm. help support them and bring them out into the light, let them share their voice too. Mm-hmm. Mr. Yeah, Miles, from yeah, your one, perspective. Of the, one of the things that um, President Notch tasked me and a new member of the, his executive, James Gary, to do is to amplify youth participation in live music. Uh, so right after the elections last year, um, he asked us to take music, young musician showcase, mm-hmm. and amplify it with youth participation. So James and I say, well, for us to do that, we have to go into the schools and do auditions and and really make it um, an achievement. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to take this time to thank the music teachers of Clifton Hunter, Mr. Manny, Ms. Chase, and Ms. McConway from John Gray, and all the schools that we have made contact with, uh, Mr. 
um, Jorge from Triple C, Mr. George, and 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 find ways of bringing these very shy reserved musicians mm -hmm. into a spotlight where they can shine. Right. And they can shine brighter than the spotlights that shine in on them because they have so much to share with the world. Exactly. Um, so that is that leads me to talk about the showcase and other venues. Exactly. Mu young music. Um, the music young musician showcase along with NCFA and um, and JC Connor's talent exposition of the art is, is ways of which young people have a stage that they could take part and grow I agree I've seen people like Liana da Costa grow from 8 to 18 and now she's a phenomenal performer mm -hmm. um, I've seen Tiffany Connolly grow I've seen Victoria Buttram grow all on the stage. My son Jared was also uh, very good. I, how we found uh, Amber was, <laughs> we was at a social and they were listening to the radio and, and Jared was singing and then Amber was singing and, like, and they were harmonizing. I know Jared can sing. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, Amber, you can sing one. Mm -hmm. So when JJ said that uh, this is the song that they, they, he wants to do for Pirate Suite, I said, well, you need a girl to sing the, the chorus. And I got a girl for you. And, and so when I called Amber, it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. uh, you you in bed yet? No, no, no. I, I need you to, um, to listen to this, and then I, I want you to sing for them over the phone. And it was over the phone she sang. Wow. Them, so I don't remember what the song was either. So they were like, yo, yo, when she can come. <laughs> I, I said, well. Um, uh, it late now, so I'll I'll set up a time with my yes. parents and and we can organize it. And this is why I, I want to thank God for guarding my character. Yes, that parents can trust me with their children, right? And that I can take their child, knowing that they feel that I will be treating their child as if it is yes. my child. Yes, until I return it to them mm -hmm. and, and return their child to them. And 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 I'm glad that I'm in that position. Good for you, and you got to continue that because a lot of these young people and your whole island and your family, but not only that, yourself and how people have have known you are and, and perceive you, you want that to continue. So, Jamo, continue the great works. Now, what's upcoming in the next few months for the Youth Services Unit, if you're able to elaborate a, a bit on that? Oh, well, we worked on our calendar for the year. I think one of our major ones is um, Brack Spring Weekend, as in March. Yeah, we gotta include a rack. Mm -hmm. Rack, nice. And that's just who said, "Yeah, give a rack." <laughs> My I friends over it. there at Pioneer <laughs> Bakery. I gotta go to the bread. <laughs> but um, the unit has its own calendar. If people want to to know what the calendar is like, you can yes. contact the office at nine four three eleven twenty seven. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things are the unit. All of our programs do community service. Mm -hmm. um, we are firm believers that the greatest among you. Uh, as those who serve, because Jesus said so. And all of our programs with community service. Uh, Youth Flex will actually be doing a community service at the Young Music Showcase on the 26th of January. So if any young person wants to volunteer, they can get in touch with the unit at 943-1127, or you can talk, touch base with any Youth Flex crew member. They know who they are because they get about their school. Um, we're probably looking for like 60 volunteers mm -hmm. for the event uh, so it can be a really special time for all the 300 guests that we expect okay. at the heart we expect a sellout crowd and we ain't selling no tickets so it's free so you can come all Right. Um, support these young people um, this is the way that our community can show their support and it don't cost you anything other than a little bit of gas to get to Harkville and three hours of your time to be blown away by the talent that young people okay. possess. Mr. Miles, Amber, I want to thank you so much for allowing us to put the spotlight on your talent and developing the topic, um, developing talent of young people right here on the Cayman Islands. We wish you both all success in your endeavors. All the best to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned for more of Radio Cayman's Business Buzz after the 8 o'clock news sports and weather update. Let's focus on Taste of Cayman Food and Drink Festival 2019. Over to you, Susan. Thank you, Sabrina. And studio time now by Price Right is 8 a.m. 
Price Right is Grand Cayman's warehouse shopping superstore. Making your dollar go further with huge savings and no membership fees. Get more of the things you use every day at the right price. But it's not just grocery and health and beauty. Price Right has a full range of products from office to automotive, patio furnishings to kitchen appliances, and even electronics. And since warehouse prices mean savings for you, everything is priced right at Price Right. Grand Cayman's warehouse shopping superstore. Your community. News and information. Radio Cayman is your choice, your voice for today's biggest news. Radio Cayman. With your latest news, I'm Carsley Fuller. The Public Accounts Committee is gearing up for business. CIG TV's Donna Bush has more. This week, the Public Accounts Committee will meet for two days. During the sessions on Wednesday and Thursday, updates will be given on progress being made on recommendations to various government entities on their spending. Members will discuss their findings and will follow up on what actions have been taken on suggestions made previously. Time will also be spent on reviewing financial statements with representatives from various departments and ministries. PAC will meet this Wednesday, January 16th, and the following day, Thursday the 17th, starting at 10 a.m. on both days. You can watch live coverage on CIG TV and on our YouTube channel, CIG Television. CIG TV's Donna Bush. In other news... Talented youngsters from across the island performed their heart out on Saturday as they took the stage to audition for a chance to star in the upcoming annual Young Musicians Showcase. This is the 11th annual Musaic Festival, and um, as a part of the Musaic Festival, I've been tasked with uh, organizing and planning the Young Musicians Showcase. Um, so what the public can expect is already talented young people, plus the, the community coming from uh, the music schools, and, uh, and a great show. Executive Committee member with the Cayman Islands Music and Entertainment Association, James Geary, says it's important to shine a spotlight on the future of tomorrow. Being able to have young people at the forefront gives them a sense of responsibility and duty with their craft. Um, uh, not only their confidence, but it also teaches them to serve the community with their gifts. Them being able to be represented like this only does our nation good. The Mosaic Festival spans over four days starting on January 25th. The Young Musician Showcase takes place on the 26th at the Harkwell Theater. In regional news, police have launched an investigation after a British man living on the Caribbean island of St. Lucia was found dead at his home. Dailystar.co.uk reports that 66-year-old Robert Hathaway, a marina owner, was found by a neighbor at about midday on Sunday. A police spokesman said investigators were waiting for the post-mortem examination. Keats Compton, a close friend of Mr. Hathaway and president of Marine Industries Association, said, quote, I just heard the news. It's really horrific. Mr. Compton said he had known the victim for more than 10 years and would be following the police investigation closely. Asked about a possible motive for the murder, he said, quote, It was a big shock to me, but it's a bit early to make any speculation. Mr. Hathaway founded the Marigot Sunshine Marine Catering Company for smaller sailing yachts and super yachts. Now with a check of international news, here's the BBC who will take us out of the newscast. I'm Carsley Fuller from Radio Cayman's Newsroom. From Radio Cayman's Newsroom. BBC News. The International Criminal Court has acquitted the former president of Ivory Coast, Laurent Gbagbo, of all charges. He was accused of crimes against humanity and other crimes committed during violence following disputed elections in 2010. His co-accused, the former youth leader, Charles Blais Goudet, was also acquitted. Police in Zimbabwe have fired tear gas at demonstrators in the capital, Harare, to disperse crowds in a second day of protests. The latest violence comes a day after several people were killed during clashes between police and protesters, angry at increases in fuel prices. British ministers are making their final appeals to sway members of Parliament to back the vote in the government's draft Brexit deal drawn up with the European Union. With just hours to go before voting, dozens of government MPs, as well as those on the opposition benches, look set to deliver a crushing defeat to the Prime Minister, Theresa May. China's space agency says cotton seeds taken to the dark side of the moon by its lunar lander almost two weeks ago have sprouted. This is the first time seeds have germinated on the moon. It's being seen as a significant step towards long-term space missions. 
The Saudi teenager who was granted asylum by Canada after refusing to return to her family says she now wants to pursue an education in her new home. Speaking two days after arriving in Toronto, Rahaf Mohammed al Kunun told Canadian media it had been worth risking her life for freedom. BBC News. Access. What's happening in your community? News and information, music and more. You can find us. www.radiokman.gov.ky Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Radio Cayman is your choice, your voice for today's biggest news. Radio Cayman. Come along with me. So that you will see the best company for your road safety. You'll get the theory, you'll get the road from the best driving school that you can afford. Hi, I'm Berman Scott from the Real Thing Driving School. You can find us on Facebook. Call me on 925-5094 or call 922-6223. You'll get the real thing. Yes, it's the real thing. You'll get the real thing, the real thing, driving school. Consultation, orientation, come get your lesson, the real thing, driving school. At Flow, we know that four are better than one. Introducing Flow Quad Play. Packed with the fastest, most reliable broadband, the power and control of Flow Evo TV, K-Man's best mobile experience, and tons of home full minutes, all in one convenient package from only $199 a month. With four plans to choose from, you're sure to find one that fits your needs. It's value, ease, and convenience all on one bill with K-Man's number one network. Find out why four are better than one with Flow Quad Play at discoverflow.ky. Terms and conditions apply. In financial news, global shares were mostly higher today as British lawmakers prepared to vote on a Brexit deal that has drawn strong opposition at home. Markets were also boosted by senior economic officials saying Beijing will cut taxes and keep monetary policy flexible to help weather China's slowdown. Keeping score in Europe, Britain's FTSE 100 rose 0.3% to 6,874. Germany's DAX rose 0.7% to 10,927. And the CAC 40 in France added 0.9% to 4,803. Wall Street was set for an optimistic open. Dow futures gained half a percentage point to 23,986. And the broader S&P 500 futures were up 0.4% at 2,591. Looking at Asia's day, Japan's Nikkei 225 index, reopening after a market holiday, added 1% to 20,555. The Kospi in South Korea jumped 1.6% to 2,097. Hong Kong's Hang Sen rebounded 2% to 26,830. It closed 1.4% lower on Monday. The Shanghai Composite Index was up 1.4% at 2,570. In energy, benchmark U.S. crude oil added 46 cents to 50.97 per barrel in electronic trading on the New York Mercantile Exchange. The contract lost $1.08 to settle at 50.51 per barrel on Monday. Brent crude, the international standard, gained 45 cents to 59.44. It gave up a dollar 49 to 58.99 a barrel in London. And in currencies, the dollar strengthened to 108.55 yen from 108.16 late Monday. The euro eased to 1.1459 from 1.1473. From happy beginnings to happy ever after. Brit K protects your lifestyle with the best insurance cover at the best possible price. Health insurance with far-reaching benefits. 95% of claims settled in five days. Low-cost life insurance. And investments. Security in retirement. With a custodian pension plan. For happy beginnings and a happy ever after. Visit BritK.ky or call 949-8699. BritK, where people come first. Kick back at the Cayman Creperie this Friday with some bubbles and blues. Bubbles and blues. Something different in Georgetown's waterfront. Bubbles and blues. Sip some bubbly with the serenading sounds of the blues with a mighty fine view. Bubbles and blues. Starting at 5 p.m. Donate and get a complimentary glass of bubbles and enter into the amazing raffle. Bubbles and blues. A pop-up event in support of NCBO. The Cayman Creperie this Friday starting at 5 p.m. Bubbles and blues. Bubbles and blues. Having a party at the beach or a team building exercise at the park? 
Reserving your cabana is easy with the Public Works Department online booking system. Create your account and use the online calendar to pick your desired date and facility. You can even pick the cabana you want to use. Look for your confirmation email, print it off, and bring it with you as proof of reservation. Enjoying our natural environment has never been so easy. Visit www.eservices.gov.ky to book your cabana today. In local sports, after breaking two college records over the weekend, one of Cayman's top youth hurdlers is ready to face more competition in coming months. 18-year-old Oshim Brown tells Radio Cayman Sports he's looking forward to the 2019 Carifta Championships being held right here in Cayman. Upcoming is um, Carifta game back home on April 28th to 22nd. And I, I, I have my eyes on the World Championship in Doha in October. So I'll be really training hard for that and also my upcoming outdoor season. So I'm looking forward to be very busy in the summer. I have the knockout on the 23 or something like that, but Pan Am game in the summer. So I'll be working really hard for those championships coming up and hopefully to win some, win some titles and have fun. Brown was at the East Tennessee State University track and field invitational when he broke two Milligan College hurdle records in one day. In international sports and football news, UEFA has opened disciplinary proceedings into alleged racist chanting by Chelsea fans in the Europa League game with Molviti. A vocal minority chanted offensive songs about Tottenham fans in the two-all draw in Hungary on December 13th. Chelsea said fans who sang an anti-Semitic chant during the game had, quote, shamed the club. UEFA's control, ethics, and disciplinary body will rule on the case at its next meeting on February 28th. We are Radio K-Man, and this is how we wake you up in the morning. Praise time. Praise time on Radio K-Man. Praise time. Weekday mornings from 6 until 6 30. Praise time. Give me Jesus in the morning. For the God of the mountain is still God at the best. Praise time. Jesus in the morning, yeah. Weekday mornings from 6 until 6.30. Radio came and maintaining the innovation. On a daily basis, making it easy to connect with you, our listeners. Add us to WhatsApp today, 925-3261. That's 925-3261. Radio came Send a text or voice note. Can I send a request, please? Uh, you don't really have to ask us. Just send a request. This is a shout-out to my ex. Radio Cayman, the voice of the Cayman Islands. Radio Cayman maintaining the innovation. Welcome back to the Business Buzz. The business topics that matter. An insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Good morning and welcome back to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz right here on Radio Cayman. I'm your host, Sabrina Turner. In this segment, we hear all about Taste of Cayman Food and Drink Festival 2019. I am pleased to have joining me in studio to tell us more, Ms. Tessa Broderick, president of CETA. She's joined by Ms. Holly Whitelock, who is Mar- manager marketing and operations for CETA, and also brought along with them Mr. Ben Mead of Tower Events Spokesperson. Pleasure to have you in studio, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you for having us. Happy New Year to you as well. All the New Year's resolutions with, the, you know, all these diets and all that sort of stuff going out the window. Diets can start officially <laughs> in February. After this yes. event. Enjoy Taste of Cayman because there's so much for your appetite there that we don't want you to break the resolution, so we encourage people to just start the food-related ones in don't February. Don't you get one cheat day a month or, I mean, a week in my case but i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah it's definitely um a great way to start the new year because yes. taste of caymans about socializing seeing your friends having that experience with the senses of your taste buds okay. as well mm-hmm. so can you share with our listening audience um the history on taste of cayman and how long it has been taking place right here in the cayman islands 
So last year we celebrated our 30th anniversary, and this year it's our 31st year. So starting with the chili cook-off years ago and now growing into this, um, you know, such a well-known festival, well-loved festival, both locally and internationally. Correct. What can persons look forward to from Taste of Cayman and food, drink festival? How, you know, tell us a little bit about how much restaurants will be taking part this year. You can get all your taste senses tantalized at Taste of Cayman. We have something for everyone there from children straight up to adults. It's a full family event. It's maybe the largest family event taking place Mm -hmm. in the Cayman Islands. We tend to have upwards of 30 vendors, food and beverage vendors there, uh, bringing you the best of the culinary scene and beverage scene on the Cayman Islands because it's not just about food but about beverages as well. Uh, You get great mixtures of the non-alcoholic cocktails Mm -hmm. as well as something a bit more spicy for those who are so inclined. So you get from your large hotels and restaurants to some smaller ones who've just come on board. So it's I is, e. the Great Tree Cafe. That's like my favorite place to get um, fried fish. So they're on, they're a new vendor this year. Nice. Really the, exciting. Nice. Yeah. Ozzy and his, yeah. Pre- precisely. So it gives you that variety all across the spectrum Excellent. of what Cayman has. Right. And we have as well like a food truck alley as well. Mm. Because think about it. More and more you see you these see popping more up. That, yes. And you get some Good food it's at those. It's true. Great so, food. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. so great food. You have to remember, this is a, this was an initiative of the Cayman Islands Tourism Association. And the food that we offer, the culinary experience that we offer in Grand Cayman, now I know we're known as the culinary capital of the Caribbean, but this started way back. And this initiative was to showcase the many restaurants that we mm-hmm. have on offer in Cayman. And the diversity speaks to how even our offering across the tourism mm-hmm. product has diversified. And um, so this is really meant to be something for all and for all vendors. Right. I can recall back back in the day when um, you had the the taste of Cayman. I can see Coco Blums right now, uh, where I think Weston is. It used to be they had torn down Galleon Beach, and that I, I can remember that quite quite um, that field, yes. yes. And um, then I think it moved right next in between the Ritz Carlton and Seven Mile Shops. One time, mm-hmm. it gotten a little bigger there. Mm-hmm. And look at what you're doing now. What type of crowds are you expecting for 2019? It's going to be in the thousands. You consistently draw thousands of visitors to the festival. And we're at Festival Green at Kamana Bay, nice wide open area. Right. Lots of parking. Lots of parking. <laughs> mm-hmm. And there's a lots of space for you to mingle with your friends and, of course, to get the best taste of Cayman. Of course. Going back to your reference, you know, this this festival has grown with Cayman as it has. Exactly. And so many of our visitors to Ireland, they really enjoy it. And they make reference to the fact that mm-hmm. where they often where they're coming from, either somewhere in the suburbs or in the cities, going to a festival like this takes a lot of effort, a lot of planning. But for us, usually we're five, ten minutes away, and it's so easy to, to get there and maneuver. Correct. And it's, it's really just a wonderful feeling. Like Ben said, I get something for ev- all ages. The weather is usually perfect. So it's, it's, just, it's just a great um, outing for every age. And it's a great m- reminder of one of the wonderful aspects of living in Cayman. It is. And for me, um, for years, I've attended just as a patron. And it's been one of those events that I've loved to go to and always marked it on my calendar because Mm -hmm. I always think I know where to go for dinner (laughs) next weekend. Exactly. And then I go to Taste of Cayman. I'm like, where is this place? I've never heard of you. So it opens up our possibilities for right. dining on island. For, even for those of us who live here, right. you learn so much more, not just about the establishment, but about their menus, and you get to meet the people behind it. It's just one of those fabulous experiences. Dining and catering. Mm-hmm. And Busy catering, lives yes. that we yes, eat. Yes, it's true. Okay, last year I discovered um, Fish Rundown from Island Taste, mm-hmm. and I've been a patron ever <laughs> since. You know, call up, you need help, I'm entertaining so right. it's just a wonderful opportunities. Yeah, some of the ones that you know, too, you always might get one thing, like a, a patty from Island Taste or something like that just comes to mind. But then when they come with something a little bit different or, you know, something they don't have every day and it just like, oh, goodness, it, it reinvigorates your um, – love for that restaurant too and the taste of her tummy is that 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 <laughs> that that yearning for always eating now moving forward where do you see an event like this coming understanding from back in the 80s where it started where we are today where do you see it going in the future well, bigger and better of course <laughs> and 
and profit too. Um, this is CETA's major fundraiser, mm-hmm. and it wouldn't happen without our sponsors, our volunteers, and all the tremendous talent that um, the agencies has brought on board, including Tower. Um, so bigger and better, and um, you know, like I said, it's grown over the years as Cayman has grown. And it continues to be a favorite of all ages, from the young kids, and you can see that from the many activities we offer, to, cool. to teenagers, young adults, the more mature generation. Yes. Mm-hmm. And no, I like how, like, everyone fits in so nicely, and, like, there's no, okay, well, I want to have a more mature experience, but the kids, it's like, you can have that more, more, more mature experience, you can have that family experience, you can have whatever experience you want, and it's just fun for everyone, as Tessa was saying. And Tessa mentioned mm-hmm. it, about this being a major fundraiser for the CITA. Mm-hmm. It's To me, that's what makes this so great, because here's an association that does great work for the Cayman Islands, right. a, a major pillar industry, and an event like this, you come together, have fun, and you support the activities of such an amazing association. association One correct. thing I want to just add to um, speaking on the growth of it, um, We always want to grow in a way that embodies our culture and represents the Caymanian culture. Um, Obviously, that means a lot of international cultures combined at the Taste of Cayman. But I just think, especially this year and um, going forward, you know, you want to keep the roots and you want to keep that the essence of what it is. So as it grows and gets bigger and better, it's it's. um, just becoming mm-hmm. even a more just every year just growing with the island what what are the trends what's popular and um, what are the good go-to's that have been around for years and years so and just joining us in studio we want to welcome miss Lindsay allen creator owner of island naturals good morning Lindsay. morning thank you so much for having me you're back in taste of cayman 2019 i know it's been a couple of years <laughs> we took a little break but um, back in 2015, we actually won one of the awards, which was super exciting. And uh, yeah, we took a little break, and now we're coming for back. best dessert, best dessert for yeah. your cheese vegan yeah. cheesecake for the vegan gluten free cheesecake. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now, Lindsay, tell us a little bit about Island Naturals and what we can expect for you expect from you at this year's uh, Taste of Cayman. Well, this year we're actually going to be um, we're actually going to be bringing our own booth, so we're going to really focus on. Our branding, we are actually going to put in uh, in every award category this year. So we are going to try to go for best booth. We have a really great coffee twist of a drink that we're going to be putting in. We're going to be doing another vegan gluten-free dessert. And then we are going to do a best food and a local food as well. So lots of exciting stuff that we have planned. I think you are also a winner of a... a you got some award in 2018. Yeah, I was just here. Yeah. I was just here. Can you share with us? <laughs> For the, I wonder yeah. if that's why you're going bigger, bolder this year. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, um, yeah. We uh, I was actually just uh, awarded, I guess, the uh, Entrepreneur of the Year from the Chamber of Commerce. So that was very exciting and amazing. So yeah, yeah, there you go. Now let's talk a little bit about the awards of Taste of Cayman. What type of awards are up for grabs this year? Um, understanding Island Naturals is entering in all categories. I am I'm aware <laughs> of the categories in case anyone, because <laughs> I did ask. Yeah. <laughs> Generally, it's um, Best Booth, which is what one of the ones she was talking about. So branding, bringing out the, um, the fun, you know, for the decorations and um, and something that can be simple but can actually be really cool. So the best booth and then best dessert, as we were talking about just now, as well as the best food, best drink, and the best local. Yeah, and yeah, favorite. Yes. And yeah. overall. Local favorite. So you actually get a little token, like a wooden token. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just really cool because, you know, you get to make your mark. So that's another cool thing that happens at Taste of Cayman versus maybe some other type of events where you're actually, you know, voting and you're having – um, a part in this really cool, uh, not contest, but I guess you, it is in a way. Um, and so people's to, choice. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. The people's choice. <laughs> there we go. The eater's yeah. choice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, exactly. The eater's choice. And aside from the, the main booths, we have different things happening. For example, in the all things came in area and you have a heavy cake cook off competition that's happening Unfortunately, I can't be a judge. <laughs> I wanted to be a judge for that, but I think I would put on a few extra pounds because people tend to bring great heavy cake. Mm-hmm. There's some amazing heavy cake bakers in the Cayman Islands. So Very we, competitive. We're, we're going to have that, and it's going to be 
judged as well. So you'll have a winner of that as well. You'll have an amateur chef cook off. Mm -hmm. Can't tell you the participants are okay. just yet. Okay, and you'll just keep yet. that dear to you, but I'm quite I, sure. I should have won last year, but but it didn't happen. So persons can follow these developing events um, on social media platforms. Yes, indeed, you can. You can follow Taste of Cayman on Facebook. You can also find it on Instagram, Twitter as well. And of course, if you go straight to the website, you'll have all the latest information there. Tasteofcayman.org. Now we're talking about save the date. Tell us when is this date for persons who may not already have it marked on their calendar, Ben. If you're not like me and don't have it marked <laughs> on your calendar, I'm going to give you a chance to grab a pen and mark it now. It's going to be on Saturday, the 26th of January. Uh-huh. And where is it all taking place? It's taking place at the Festival Green at Kamana Bay. That's in the tagline for this year is? Celebrating came in. That's right. Yeah. And I just want to add, we talked about getting bigger and better. Uh -huh. it, it's also about diversity. If you just look at the whole program of events, there's so many activities, so much creativity going on. So for those of you out there who perhaps have not come out to Taste the Cayman in a few years, it's time to rediscover it. it it's really has a lot to offer. And like I said, a lot of creativity. There's even a mixology um, competition. There's just... An, even Island Naturals, you see how much bigger and bolder they're going. It just speaks to how all of our vendors have Correct. taken this on, and they really showcase how their own businesses have grown and their creativity. So kudos to you. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you for being involved. Oh, gosh. Okay. She's one of those, go big or not go. <laughs> <laughs> so far, it's worked. <laughs> and part of the Celebrating Island Life theme, we're doing a lot of traditional stuff this year. I mentioned the heavy cake yes. making, but as part of the All Things Cayman area, you're going to find as well a uh, seven fathoms mixology competition i mentioned the amateur cook-off but it's going to be expanded this year uh, bringing back your favorites and adding new attractions there's going to be rope craft they're going to be steel pan music playing they're going to be folk singers mm -hmm. traditional dancers giving anyone who comes the opportunity to embrace everything that we love about our island life here in the cayman Islands. so it's giving you the full experience it's not just shoving f food down your face it's mm -hmm. making you feel as though wow what a wonderful place this is to live okay and you mentioned experience let's not forget the experience room exactly right. we have amazing things happen in there the experience room is it, it's something it's something to be prepared for there's dark dining where all your senses are going to be tantalized because mm -hmm. It's dark. You're not going to see what you're going to be eating. Oh, Lord. You'll have to trust the chef. <laughs> no, Lord. You'll have to trust the chef. So we're going to have that happening as well. You're going to have uh, the iguana and lionfish uh, cooking demonstrations taking place there. I'll reserve my right for the iguana side. <laughs> you may be surprised. You may. You so very you're reserving well your spot for the iguana side. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Yes. Try something new. You will, I take the fifth. <laughs> you, 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 you will be surprised at what chefs can do with some of the animals who we have. You been Ben? Mm -hmm. I have tasted iguana before. And. It was one of the best tasting meats I've had. Oh, good for you. That, good that, was, Congratulations like, that was like 29 <laughs> years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I, I may try it this year based on what I hear the yeah. chefs are preparing. Okay. Also, as part of the experience room, we have what we call the Behind the Seeds Tour. This is where you'll explore some locally grown produce that we love here on island. Mm -hmm. So we dive into the heritage of some of Cayman's longest food suppliers and explore some local dishes with a fresh twist. It's good. So it's We're gonna... all, everybody's thinking about fresh. Yes. You can't get fresher than straight out of the ground to your plate. That's right. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll hear more about Taste of Cayman Food and Drink Festival 2019. Over to you, Susan. You may have heard of them by now. GreenTurtle.ky, a one-stop shop for your mobile needs. Whether shopping for a new phone or topping up a loved one, it's time to hop aboard the Green Turtle Express. From 24-hour delivery in Grand Cayman to sending credit worldwide, GreenTurtle.ky is the future of mobile. Take a ride on the Green Turtle Express today. GreenTurtle.ky, they get there first. 
2019 resolutions include clear and healthy skin? Then ask the pharmacist at Healthcare Pharmacy in Grand Harbor about Proactive and X-Out skin care products. Get your best blemish-free skin ever with dermatologist-developed Proactive. X-Out is a revolutionary doctor-developed acne treatment designed just for teens. This one-step face cleanser works three ways to clear up acne. Ask the pharmacist at the Healthcare Pharmacy in Grand Harbor for advice on Proactive and X-Out. 2019 will be your year of clear and healthy skin. Healthcare Pharmacy, Grand Harbor. Welcome back to the Business Buzz. The business topics that matter. An insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Welcome back to Radio Cayman's Business Buzz as we keep the spotlight on taste of Cayman Food and Drink Festival 2019. One of Cayman's largest and longest running events, Taste of Cayman Food and Drink Festival 2019, returns for its 31st year. It's taking place Saturday, January 26th at Festival Green, Caymana Bay from 5 p.m. And it goes on until food lasts, I guess, or until it ends. It's going to go on until the food is done. <laughs> and longer. And then more because yes. there's entertainment. So. Exactly. Yeah, so it's go- About it's 11 p.m. It's going to go around, yeah, late into the night, but we'll wrap up right. at the appropriate time. Now, we're talking about a little bit about expecting huge crowds. And each year you tweak it, understanding you've grown from the 1980s to here we are in 2019. Have you all began or even thought about addressing the long lines that people have to wait in to be it going to the various booths or just getting inside to get it all started? We're constantly improving our flows, but the best way to beat any lines is to, get, is to get the VIP experience. <laughs> you have an expedited line to enter into the festival. You get more food and drink tickets. So you you get ahead of the crowds and mm-hmm. you get to where you need to be. So uh, my recommendation would be to buy the VIP ticket package. That would give you the opportunity to bypass all of that, get the express entry to the festival. And for $150, what you get, you get 25 food and drink tickets. There's access to an air-conditioned VIP lounge. It should be a cool evening, but we know in Cayman, cool isn't yeah, cool enough most of the times. You get priority parking. So, again, That's helping get win-win. you to the experience a lot faster. The experience room that we spoke about, that I know Sabrina is so eager to get inside, <laughs> you get a voucher to get in there. There are welcome drinks and canopies. You have a private DJ. You have views of the live entertainment. And often overlooked as being important, access to VIP bathrooms. Ah. Yes, yes, it does. But for everyone else, I mean, as the festival has grown and just we we take into account um, the feedback that we receive. So every year, and that's something great about um, the Tower Marketing Agency coming on um, with all their creative ideas and, um, you know, more eyes and more hands on deck with CITA or the Tourism Association being a, um, a a large executive board, but a, you know, um, a staff of four. So we are just really excited about, um, all the improvements that have been made just to the general, um, event and, you know, better lighting, better bathroom, moving, um, this vendor here and this vendor here so that the lines are not, you know, getting, um, mixed up or so there's just so many improvements. And I think it just, um, I think, in, and when you do have a really long line, then you know there's some really good food there. Right. So it's almost worth the wait. <laughs> you know, just add I'd even just the word crowds. Just like, oh, I don't need this. But I would suggest come early, make a really a, an evening of it, and slow down. Mm-hmm. So much of what we're doing, I'm it's guilty so fast of it. We're based. going, going, going. Yeah. We see a lot of families come, the, young, the kids, younger kids. You know, as soon as the doors open or the gates open, they're there and they're enjoying. Then sometimes the kids go home and adults stay and the friends come. And even though you see long lines at times, the favorite ones, you see people talking and chatting and socializing. Yeah, yeah. So the idea, you're not coming to eat. If you wanted to just go out to eat, go to one of our fabulous restaurants. Right. Absolutely. And right. they're open too. Socialize. But, but Make this your... is for the experience, just right. slowing down, taking it in, socializing with friends, running into people you haven't seen, mm-hmm. even though... You know, Christmas holidays were just gone. passed. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's there's amazing. Some people you haven't seen since the uh, last festival. Absolutely, <laughs> and so it's really about just getting out and having a good time. Not the purpose just to eat; it's to experience different things. The entertainment. There's DJs. There's a 
live tribute band, yeah. you know, and, and, and it's it's probably the most affordable event right. that takes you for for, from having what, all of these PM restaurants to, being showcased absolutely. at one time, which leads me into general admission tickets. Can you share that information with those? General tickets right now, if you're buying them, they're $40. Uh, they will go up to $50 at the gate. So why not save $10 now and buy them now or 150 for VIP uh, for children now? They're $20. So I, I told you about the prices if you buy the tickets now. I can tell you where you can get them. Mm-hmm. Of course, you can get them at tasteofcayman.org slash tickets. You can go to Bon Vivant, Funky Tang's, any Black Beards or Big Daddy's outlet. And we've added some new locations, office supply, sports supply, diver supply. So you have opportunity to get your tickets in advance as well. That's right. Lindsay, I want to ask you, what has been, uh, what's the restaurant scene that people eating out um, been like recently? Have you seen an increase of demand in, in, in persons eating out more? Well, I mean, I'm looking at it from, we're, we're a healthy eatery, right? So right now, everybody wants to be healthy. <laughs> so as soon as Christmas was over, we definitely picked up. Um, we're not necessarily like a fine dining evening type mm-hmm. of environment, so I can't really speak to that. Um, but I can definitely say that, you know, from a, a breakfast, lunch, and early dinner standpoint, we're, this is the time of year for us. Uh, so I think it's actually quite important that there are some healthy options at the event. We have had so many people in the past that their children can't have dairy, they can't have um, gluten, they can't have soy, there's certain things. And they come and they're so excited that they can have, you know, a dessert or whatever it might be. So... I think for the time of year, it's actually quite important that we are including those options. So hopefully uh, people who are on certain diets and trying to avoid certain things won't feel like they can't come and be a part of it because I think that there will definitely be some great options. Now, we understand food, a good atmosphere, but it's something about tapping your feet. I just I just like to dance. I'm sorry. Um, tell about. Can you share with us about the headliners uh, and and live entertainment? Some of the local bands. I'm quite sure will be performing as well. Yes, I can tell you the local bands. You'll have the Neverines. They've been on stage quite a bit locally, and they are an act worth the price of admission itself. Uh-huh. Add to that, you have Benil Miller and the Fire Squad Band. I think you should have me buying two oh, tickets yes. just to see these oh, guys. Yes. Very talented group. And then everybody asks, what about the tribute Uh act? Because that's become a big hit at the festival over the years. Perfectly timed, we have a band called Simply Queen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're from Canada. They have four members who are coming with them. They'll be performing the iconic songs that made Queen one of the greatest rock bands of all time. And you're bound to hear favorites of yours. If you're a Queen fan... And we've had so many people calling us since it's been announced. Oh, my goodness. Will they be playing this song and that Uh song? We said, yeah, they're going to play your favorites. That's why they're coming. And for the generation out there that don't know their Queen fans, Mm -hmm. when they hear the songs, they'll recognize it. They can relate, I'm sure. (laughs) They they will relate. So they they put on a great performance. They're not just singing Mm -hmm. Queen songs. You're going to think you're watching Queen. And the great thing about this band, they're fronted by a guy called Rick Rock. Not the one known locally. Mm-hmm. Um, he does impersonations of Freddie Mercury. And you had the guitarist Bob Wenger, who was personally handpicked by Queen's Brian May and Roger Taylor, to play guitar in the award-winning We Will Rock You musical in Toronto. So this isn't just any tribute band. Right. This is a band that has the signature of Queen stamped all over it. Okay, interesting. So people are definitely got to go on and get their tickets or by all means log on to your Facebook page, yeah, log on to your website. Yeah. Down to the 10-day right. countdown. It's 11 days and actually like I'm sitting here with a big smile and I'm all excited and it's really a genuine feeling. It's really an exciting event. I'm getting super excited. I, a little bit of adrenaline um, just knowing that it's happening because so many people people get so much out of it and it's a lot of work that goes into it um but it's it's super exciting so yeah just saying that there are you know almost just 10 days left to get your ticket so how have ticket sales been going 
or you have that mad dash for like the last five, ten days, about、well, five days. It, it's been picking up, and people have been coming in. And I sit in the office, and I, I see people coming in more and more and more. And we talk to the vendors, and tickets are going. Yeah. So it shows that the interest, attraction, the buzz is the there. Interest, ticket the sales are up from last year, even with the thirtieth anniversary. I just think, I mean, we're growing as a you know as a country and as an international.、Um, Internationally known culinary capital of the Caribbean, and、mm-hmm. this year too, we're getting out to more of the hotels so that the visitors can also experience、um, Taste of Cayman. And I randomly ran into a guy in Florida who said he had randomly came to Cayman during the time of Taste of Cayman and was able to go because he he had seen something on my Facebook, and he's like, "Now we're com- going to come back every year, make sure、wow. that we're there for this event because they just felt so part of the local culture. They they were able to." I don't know. They just—it was something so special to them, and hearing about that,、um, it just really speaks to the the special nature of the event. Last minute is okay too. Yeah. You can oh make yeah. It really easy to you know. You exactly. Not really ready to commit. We we know that happens. Come on out the、this、night out. That happens. That's going to happen. Yeah. Fifty dollars at the gate is、yeah. for all that、it's、you're all getting. It's all worth it. And Holly mentioned that this takes a tremendous amount of work. And of it course. Really does, and we couldn't do it. Again, without the vendors and、this、sponsors as well. This is high season, a- absolutely. One, vendors, vendors, and, sponsors, and volunteers, and and in many cases, you know, we've tried to make this successful for everyone involved. But it, it's just another testament to the community involvement and support、um, of the private sector, and、uh, we really appreciate it. The volunteers do a tremendous job, but they also have a fun time as well. We we we. we You know,、um, do their shifts so that they have a chance to enjoy the evening、Maybe、too.、Well. So, if you know, time to get involved. No, I think now would be an appropriate time to list if you have,、um, you know, those prime sponsors, those persons who keep supporting the event, and if there's an opportunity for volunteers, if needs,、uh, how do they get in contact if they want to help? Yeah, the volunteers have been having fun, as Tessa mentioned. I've seen them in the office doing some of the prep work, and then on the night they're an army in action. If you want to be part of that, you can just send an email to Taste of Cayman at cita dot ky. That's Taste of Cayman at cita dot ky. The event has attracted some amazing sponsors. They've been so great so far. We can announce Save the Date, AI Rentals, Home Gas, Cayman Bay. Cayman Airways, Bon Vivant, Flow, DHL, CUC, CEL, Hyperion, Hughes Janitorial, CDG, Sharkies, Cayman Spirits, and so many others who have who have come on and are still coming on. So I can also say that. If you're interested in being part of this event, not as a volunteer, you have a corporate entity, and you think, "Wow, what a great event to、Get、attach my, my name to!" That event,、yeah. And to capture the attention of the thousands of people there, you can also send the email to tasteofkman at cita dot ky. If you are more of a call now person, you can call in about fifteen minutes. They are on through the rest of the day six two three six seven zero zero. We're gonna not, not too late for vendors. Not too late for、okay. even like the the Cayman style beef competition.、Mm-hmm. So you know you you're hearing this now. <laughs> you're inspired. Yeah.、Let's、if you have、it. any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Like you, even if it's oh well, this year we might not be able to. As far as you as a vendor might not be able to swing it this year. Get on get on board. Just already you know in your mind for next year. So just don't hesitate to call. We have people. We have things to do. For this year,、um, and we have other events going on at CITA Restaurant Month and Stingray Awards, and、um, you know just the advocacy that that we do at the Cayman Islands Tourism Association. So,、um, if you do want to hear more about the Cayman Islands Tourism Association and becoming a member, <coughs>、um, you can call nine four nine eight five two two, or probably easier to remember info at cita dot ky. And we mentioned、um, somebody mentioned Cayman style beef and got my belly rumbling. <laughs> It's still morning, Ben. <laughs> is it too? Is there a time frame in which you can eat Cayman style well, beef? They say your stomach doesn't have a clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I know that's one of the island favorites.、Right. As we celebrate island life, we have a competition for all the people who think. I, I've met so many people who says, "No, my auntie cooks the best Cayman style beef." Oh, you haven't tasted my grandma cook.、Uh-huh. So I'm like. Bring them out. Yeah, we have a competition for、this、them. The first year for that, brand new because everybody claims they know the 
best Cayman style beef right. chef on island. We're going to settle it at Taste of Cayman. Well, I think uh, Mr. McLaughlin in East End is definitely in strong competition with Island Taste, and it's only because East End is too far on a Tuesday or Wednesday that they have that. So, hello. Yeah, and That's you see, cool, there's yeah. so many others. I'm quite who sure do, who don't do it every day, uh-huh. who are not that well known. So right. you may be surprised. So if you think that you know your auntie has it uh-huh. and she has what it takes, you can send an email to Abby. That's A B B Y at Tower dot com dot ky she will take your name register you and you show up with your beef and you mm-hmm. make people go like how oh, i'm going right now right so the beef with the cassava cake then if you don't even want to judge the cassava cake maybe you can do the beef and collab with someone who is because in the brack they not into no rice and bean potato mm-hmm. salad you know mm-hmm. they're into that cayman style beef and a little yam a little cassava and a piece of cake what do you think? She's hold I had it. breakfast yet. Just hold it. <laughs> We're going to take the final break for the morning. When we come back, we'll continue and get some wrap-up. Definitely stick home how you can get your tickets, give you the prices of those tickets on how you can e- attend this year's Taste of Cayman Food and Drink Festival 2019. Oh, oh gosh. <sighs> Don't let the stress of taking care of loved ones get you down. Home care, now made easier with Cayman Medical Supplies. 100% Caymanian owned, Cayman Medical Supplies now stocks a wide range of home care supplies. Hospital beds, all types of wheelchairs, including beach access wheelchairs, lifts, commodes, shower chairs, walkers, Curad brand orthopedic supplies, free blood glucose monitors with the purchase of one pack of test strips, blue underpads, and a whole lot more. Need home care convenience? Drop by Cayman Medical Supplies at 93 Smith Road, Windward Center, or call 949-6211. Free delivery. Hi, I'm Dawn McLean Brady, President of the Cayman Islands Small Business Association, better known as CISPA. Small businesses drive Cayman's economy. As small business owners, we depend on government to create an environment where we, as entrepreneurs, can do what we do best, and that's to provide products and services that are valuable to our customers and, in turn, employ others. The cruise piers and cargo ports provide these opportunities. Encourage our government to build a port and let the Caymanian entrepreneurial spirit shine. Support the port. Support our tourism. Radio Cayman maintaining the innovation. On a daily basis, making it easy to connect with you, our listeners. Add us to WhatsApp today, 925-3261. That's 925-3261. Radio Cayman. Send a text or voice note. Can I send a request, please? Uh, you don't really have to ask us. Just send a request. This is a shout out to my ex. Radio Cayman. The voice of the Cayman Islands. Radio Cayman maintaining the innovation. Welcome back to the Business Buzz. The business topics that matter. An insightful and fresh take on a variety of issues that impact the local business environment. Welcome back to the Business Buzz. It is proudly sponsored by GreenTurtle.ky and Cayman Medical Supplies, keeping the spotlight on Taste of Cayman Food and Drink Festival 2019. This is home stretch of our our second edition of um, the Business Buzz. So we're going to ask our guests to just highlight some of the main uh, information that they would like to stick with our listening audience as it pertains to this event that it should be, well, will be attended by thousands. I could sum it up in one sentence. Don't miss it. But I'm sure you want more information than that. Just a reminder exactly. of where you can get tickets right now. If you're one of those who buy tickets online, you can do so, tasteofcayman.org slash tickets, as well as in-store at Bon Vivant, Funky Tang's, any Black Beards or Big Daddy's outlet, as well as at Office Supply, Sports Supply, and Divers Supply. Tickets selling right now at $40 for general admission. That price at the gate will be 50 Right now it's 150 for VIP and 20 for children. As part of the VIP package, which I think helps you beat all the lines, get it through express entry, you get 25 food and drink tickets, access to an air-conditioned VIP lounge, you get to witness all the entertainment, and so much more. They're personalized DJ for you inside there. It's like you're having your own party at Taste of Cayman. 
and you also uh, benefit from having a welcome drink and canopies as well. Now, will the price of VIP change on the event or it remains 150 be it you buy it in advance or? It remains the same. Nice. You can always upgrade at the last minute. Of too. course. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's a good that's a good option as well. Mm-hmm. Now, in your own individual capacities, Island Naturals, what would you like to leave with our listening audience this morning? Well, come visit us. We have some exciting stuff that we're going to be serving up. So um, for those of you that didn't hear before, we are going to be doing uh, some coffee, some dessert, as well as a couple of food options, uh, including some local uh, local produce and stuff like that. So definitely come out and visit us. Um, if you have any dietary restrictions, we will make sure that we identify everything so it's nice and easy for you. Okay. Holly Widelock, what would you like to leave with our listing audience? I guess I'll just leave with this because some people I've, that I've talked to um, don't realize that with the general admission, especially if you get it at the $40 rate, um, you get 12 food and drink tickets with that. So Really, tickets, I mean, it's a lot of value for money. And, um, you know, you you show up, you get your 12 food and drink tickets. You don't have to wait in a line. You can go to your first favorite place, your first favorite vendor, whether it's um, a drink or a dessert or a um, a bite of a taste of delicious food. So I just really think that it's one of the best value for money events on the island. um, And it's just a time to have fun, socialize in um, a great atmosphere. And president of CETA, Miss Tessa Broderick. Also known as Teresa, just for those who are, might be confused out there. <laughs> um, I would say, you know, this is just six hours of, of just experiencing the best of what Cayman has to offer and the full diversity of it from food, drinks, entertainment, our social life um, right. together. Um, it's just a wonderful time. And it, again, our thanks to everyone involved. It couldn't happen with, without this tremendous support. Yes, we really appreciate the restaurants. Um, they are a big part of the Cayman Islands Tourism Association. I work um, as, a, as the restaurant representative in addition to, you know, um, just an overall representative. But they, the restaurants here are what make us the culinary capital of the Caribbean. What what Lindsay's talking about, the, the um, passion she's putting into Taste of Cayman, I know she puts that into her everyday uh, business. So, and that's and that goes for all the vendors, all of our our restaurants here. They they're passionate. They're coming with the best. They're you know they know it's there's a lot of great places. So that you have that competition really even um, just making things that mm-hmm. much better. And we just want to thank the restaurants for participating in this year after year and making the event. Mr. Meat, um, hammering it home to persons in a calling for cassava cake competition, Cayman style beef competition, and any additional appeal, be it extra hands on the event, or, you know, just now in the back of, behind the scenes. Yeah, we always <clears throat> have opportunity for people to help out, so it's not too late to be a uh, volunteer. You can just send us an email tasteofcayman at cita.ky, or you can give our office a call 623- 6700. And I'm sure you know the best heavy cake maker on Island yeah. and the best uh, um, Cayman style beef chef on Island. So why not encourage them? Or if it's you to be part of it, you now become part of the experience. You're not just an attendee. Go down in You're history. <laughs> don't, don't forget the beverage, right? A yeah. lot of our, the, the, the bar, the, yeah, mm-hmm. not just the competition, but a lot of our beverage vendors, they really, they create special things for that night. So there's just so many dimensions to this experience. Right. It's much more than food. I want to thank you all for joining us and allowing us to put the spotlight on this event. We want to wish you all success. And then as this continues to grow, Radio Cayman, especially the Business Buzz, is more than happy to continue to share in getting the word out there. All the best to you all. Thank Thank you very much. We want to thank our kind sponsors uh, for the Business Buzz every Tuesday and Thursday, GreenTurtle.ky. Get your new phone at GreenTurtle.ky. No stress, no fuss at GreenTurtle.ky. And also brought to you by Cayman Medical Supplies. Give them a call, 949-6211. It has been a pleasure. I want to thank the producer of this show, Susan Watson, for doing a phenomenal job. And hailing up my big friends over there in the BRAC. We asked Pioneer Bakery and eat some of that bread, that coconut bread with that Cayman stuff. Uh, beef, yes. <laughs> um, until Thursday, have a safe and fabulous Tuesday. Shaken yet standing firm. This is Radio Cayman in the Cayman Islands.